欢迎第一位叶启明女士。Good morning, everyone. I'm Ye Xin. Today, I'm going to talk about a case study regarding gummy smile and multiple missing teeth. I would like to share the story of this lady. What happened to her? First, we'll look at the pretreatment data. This is 29-year-old uh, female. She had chief concern about her protrusive lips and gummy smile. She had hypermentalis activity when lips closed. Intraoral examination revealed that the lower midline shifted to the right side. In the upper arch, uh, a five-unit bridge on the right side and a three-unit bridge on the left. We use discrepancy index worksheet as a standard to evaluate the complexity of this case. We start to uh, focus on the main problem of this case. The molar relation was class 2 on the right side. It got four points. And the pretreatment safe and tracing the main discrepancies was the angle of SN to mandible plan and the lower incisor to mandible plan. It got 14 points. Let's continue to finish the rest of the worksheet. The pretreatment panel showed that there <coughs> the maxillary right first premolar and first molar and the maxillary left first molar were missing. And because of these missing teeth, there were several spaces in the upper arch. Her chief concern, and which was also an additional complexity of this case, was the 6 mm of excessive gingiva display. So the total score was 25. According to the pretreatment data, we made a diagnosis and established a treatment plan. We conclude that there were three major requirement treatment, and we view this as targets. Let's focus on the first target. The first target was the multiple missing teeth. There were three missing teeth and several spaces in the upper arch. And we shot the first arrow. Based on the protrusive football file, and we manage, uh, we plan to uh, extract the mandibular second premolars, and reserve about 7.5 millimeter to place an implant to replace the upper first premolar, first right premolar, and close other spaces. Let's move on to the second target. The second target was the gumming smile. She had a prominent lip discrepancy, about six millimeter when she smiled. Besides, sorry. Besides, um, she had uh, the marginal ridge of the, the central incisors were asymmetry, and. In this uh, vertical maxillary assays cases, uh, <clears throat> if uh, after treating the passive outer eruption, if the gingiva displays about four to eight millimeter, the research suggests that the orthognathic surgery should be considered. But this patient didn't accept the treatment with the surgery. Our weapon of choice was Nisgood and intrusion level arms to intrude the anterior teeth and correct the gummy smile. Then we continue to the last target. The third target was the protrusive lip. She had a protrusive lip position and we plan to extract the both sides of mandibular second premolar and mini school to resolve this problem. Then we look at the treatment procedure. Before bonding, we extract the mandibular second premolars and we re remove the bridges in the upper arch and made the temp temporary crown to the abutment teeth. In the first month, we bound both arches with brackets. After leveling alignment, we used stainless steel arch wire and started to close the spaces. And class 2 elastic and anterior biter bolts were used for facilitate the correction of class 2 molar reaction. 
After closing the spaces, we insert two mini school into the infrared mag crest and intrusion level on, uh, hook into uh, hook on the main arch wire and insert into the hole of the mini schools. About one year after, we played a uh, two mini school about <clears throat> on the upper central and lateral incisors with intrusive elastic that tie in from the main arch wire to the school, which generate about 60 grams per side. Another one year after, a CT image was taken for the implant placement, and which about 4, four by 11.5 fixture was chosen. After four flat, flat nicked, opening, uh, and following the treating protocol, we, ins we placed this fixture. Because there was a mesial bony defect over the second premolar, GIN21S were inserted to correct this defect, and a membrane covered it. Two months after the surgery, all appliances were removed, and a uh, retainers were attached. Six months after surgery, an incision was made to expose the cover school and a healing abutment was placed. About one month later, this gene healed well, and we used an abutment to replace the healing abutment. Finally, the crown was fixed with temporary cement. In this before and after surgery, Harry film, the fixture and the neighboring roots were parallel, and the bony defect with the GIN21S inserting during the surgery, it healed well. Let's have a close look at the treatment result. We can see that her prosthesis and gummy smile were significantly improved. Midnight was corrected, and bridges were remade. The post safe and tracing show that the upper and lower lips were retracted. Superimposed tracing show that the, pro the profile was significantly improved, and both upper incisor and molar was in intruded and distalized, and the lower incisor was retracted. Then in this before and after image, we can see that this uh, is really <laughs> excellent. Also, the profile. We use case radio evaluation to evaluate the, the treatment result. About the object, there is no contact between the right uh, first premolar, upper and lower, and incisors. And about the occlusion contact, there is no occlusion contact between the right first premolar and both buccal and lingual side. Because this patient had missing both maxillary uh, first, premolar, uh, first molar, and we only extract the lower second premolars. So this asymmetry extraction leads to a typical but a stable occlusion. So uh, this radio, case radio of evaluation is non applicable in this part. The root angulation of the maxillary second, mol second molar, it replaced the uh, first molar, but the root angulation was not correct because in the beginning we made this temporary crown not follow the long axis of these tubes. So totally, well, eight points were deducted. In aesthetic score, the pink score, the papilla between two central incisors was not if, was not fully occupied. So one point deducted, and the level of the gingival margin is not even. So another one point deducted. About the white score, the central incisor curve. Is not symmetry, so one point deducted. Totally three points deducted in aesthetic score. 
And we review this case and we learn a lot from this case. About the first target, we plan to manage uh, to close all the space and play the implant. About the implant, the top dish is not ideal. There are two reasons. One reason is that we place this fixture backly and too uh, closely. In this case, we should chosen we should have chosen a smaller fixture or have placed it palatally or down the GBR based on the 2 mm buckle bone thickness rule. And we should play this deeper based on the 3 mm deep from cervical contour rule. The second, ta second target was the gummy smile. And we plan to use mini school and intrusion level arms. And about the uneven gingival margin of the central incisors, we did the gingivectomy and resolved this problem. About this uh, appliance, uh, after 15, minute, uh, 15 months, uh, this did not achieve our re result. So we plan to uh, mini school into the central and lateral incisor as direct intrusion force. And this got the, the whole dentition intruded and distalized. So what what did we do? Did we do the also dentin or snack surgery? No. To conclude that we the also dentic and implant therapy may give the patient more comprehensive cares. We did some mistake in this case, but we, we did really learn from it and we can do better with the next patient. Thank you, thank you so much.